We talked earlier about this unseasonable winter heat wave and the way our city is built can actually impact how hot our temperatures can get. And that can create disparities in communities that already lack resources. ABC 10 News meteorologist Leah Pizzetti goes in depth into how San Diego is taking steps toward weather equality. On a hot summer day, a city gets a temperature forecast. San Diego looking at a high of 83 degrees for tomorrow. But in one day and in one city, there can be massive variations from neighborhood to neighborhood, due in part to infrastructure. It's hyper extreme microclimates, and it really is dependent upon the developed condition. Heidi Von Blum, interim planning director for the city of San Diego's planning department, says they're looking at just how much temperatures can differ within the city and why. We really need to look at the areas that are most affected by the extreme heat event as well as the vulnerability of the population. Not everybody is able to adapt to extreme heat. So last summer, the city invited the community to help them gather data in a citizen science event, asking their 57 volunteers to attach devices from NOAA to their cars that gather data, many of them students from High Tech High. They drove around in pre-designated um, mapping routes, um, and the sensors collected at each second um, the different um, ambient temperatures along their routes. That data was then sent to Kappa Strategies, who put together this map that shows the difference in temperatures around San Diego at one time, highlighting the drastic variety. Overall, what it shows us is that um, on the same day, in a relatively similar location, we can see um, differentials in the heat uh, by up to about 15 degrees. These differences in temperatures can be for a variety of reasons. Things like trees help provide shade, cooling temperatures, and the ground plays a big role as well. A surface's albedo is how much heat it reflects. Surfaces like pavement are darker, they're gonna absorb more heat, making them hotter. So places with more pavement are hotter, causing that difference in temperatures. 15 degrees makes a really big difference, especially on a, on a given day. You can see on the map that Balboa Park is cool thanks to all that grass and trees. Neighborhoods south of the 94 are a different story. What we've seen is that the extreme heat disproportionately um, can affect um, these particular areas of the city. Von Blum points out that lower income neighborhoods typically have fewer parks and grassy areas. So not only are they hotter because of albedo and lack of shade, but these tend to have older infrastructure, so there's less access to key resources like air conditioning. Now, the city is using this knowledge to help target new infrastructure where the hottest temperatures were recorded. These strategies can include expanding access to green spaces and urban greening, expanding our urban tree canopy, and also just in general, increasing shade um, in our public spaces. Hoping these steps will help make San Diego a safer place for everyone. Leah Pizzetti, ABC 10 News.